Hello everyone, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make a barbershop website. The platform that we'll be using to create our website is Wix. The reason why I recommend Wix is because you can get started for completely free. You don't need a credit card or anything like that to sign up. All you'll need is your email address and you're going to create a password. And with Wix, you'll not only get a domain name, which is the .com name, but you'll also get free hosting for life. So all you will need to do is go onto Wix.com and from there, you're going to sign up. Once you have signed up to Wix, you'll be redirected to a page just like this. And I want you to tap on Wix. Once on this page, all you'll need to do is type in Barber on the search bar right here. So you could type in barbershop, then you'll tap on barbershop right there, and you're going to tap on next. After you have tapped on next, you'll be redirected to this page. Just give it a few seconds to load up, simple B. Then from there, you can add your business address. After you have done that, you're going to tap on next. Then you can set your working hours. So are you open seven days a week and what time are you also open? You can select these options right there. Then you're going to tap on next in the bottom right hand corner. After you have done that, you can choose the different features that you offer. So let's say for example, cut and trim for kids. You can tap on that skin fade and style. If you offer that, you can also do that. Do you cut men and women here? You can tap on that if you do. And you can scroll down and you can select the different services that you offer. And by the way, if you don't see a service that you offer, you can tap on create new service and add that new service. Then you are going to tap on next in the bottom right hand corner. Once you have done that, you can add your staff members, add their name and also their email address. Then you are going to tap on next again. And from here, would you like to accept payments online? More than likely you will. And yes, we do accept in-person payments. Would you like to also sell digital and physical products? If so, you can tap on this. Then you are going to tap on next in the bottom right hand corner. Then you are going to tap on continue to dashboard. Once you have tapped on continue to dashboard, you are going to give it a few seconds. Meanwhile, the AI compiles our website in the background. And then from there, I will show you what to do next. Once on the dashboard, what I want you to do is go over to the left hand menu option. And from there, you are going to scroll down. And the first thing I want you to do is hover over billing and payments. Then you are going to tap on payments. Once you have tapped on payments, you are going to tap on manage payments. And by doing this, you'll be able to add different payment methods to your website. For example, you can add PayPal, you can also add Tilopay. So this means that your customers will be able to pay with PayPal. So you are going to tap on connect PayPal and then you would enter your PayPal information. You can also connect Tilopay. And you can also add different payment methods by tapping on see more payment methods in the bottom left hand corner. Now, another thing that you can also do with Wix is if we were to tap on booking channels from the left hand menu option, you would be redirected to this page. And as you see right here, you can connect your business Facebook account. You can also connect your business Instagram account. And if you'd also like to add your business to Google Maps, you can do that quite easily using Wix. And by the way, I've done tutorials on how to add your website or your business to Google Maps. So if you would like to do that, you can definitely search my channel and you'll be able to do that. And in the future, you could go over to the left hand menu option where you see booking calendar. And from there, you'll be able to view your work schedule. You will also be able to add staff members by tapping on staff. Once everything is finished, you are going to tap on home. Then after tapping on home, I want you to tap on design site in the top right hand corner. 
once you have tapped on design site i want you to tap right where you see customize a designed template you are going to tap on pick a template after tapping on pick a template you'll be redirected to this page and you can see numerous barbershop templates that you can choose from as you can see right here and this is one of the major pluses of wix as it offers you numerous templates that makes it quite easy for even a complete beginner to create a professional looking website so let's say i would like to use this one all i will need to do is tap on edit once you have tapped on edit you are going to give it a few seconds meanwhile the ai compiles your website once the page loads up you'll be redirected to this dashboard and from here you could fill in information about your website so once you are filling the information the ai will be able to create content for your website if you want all you'll need to do is tap on create site text and it would be able to do that but in this example i won't be using it so i'll simply tap on the x right there after you have done that i want you to tap on the plus in the top right hand corner right where you see plus 50 percent and at the moment this is how our website is looking so you can see right here and with wix again it is quite easy to edit anything even as a complete beginner all you'll need to do is hover over the section that you would like to change and from there you could tap on quick edit and then you will be able to change that particular section and also if you would like to add anything to the website all you'll need to do is go over to the top left hand corner tap on the plus right where you see add elements and for example if you would like to add text all you have to do is select text and from there you can drag the text box to wherever you want if you'd like to add an image you can also upload images and add them if you'd like to add a button whether that is a paypal button or just a regular button you can do that by simply tapping on button then let's say for example i would like to add a paypal button all i'll need to do is hover over pay buttons then from there you'll be able to drag and place the paypal button and you can also add images by tapping on gallery if you'd like to add contact forms or any type of forms in the future whether it be for donation or registration form you can also do that if you would like to for example add the directions to your barbershop you can simply go right where you see google maps then tap on maps and from there you'll be able to add maps to your website if in the future you'd like to add video and music you can also do that by tapping right where you see video and music then you'll be able to add a video player or you can add a music player you can add practically anything with your website by simply tapping on the plus in the top left hand corner and then selecting the option right here now that i've shown you how to edit your website all you'll need to do now is learn how to access the different pages and to see the different pages on your website you are going to go over to the left hand menu option again tap right where you see pages and menu that is the third icon from the top left hand corner and at the moment these are the pages that are on my website as you can see right here so let's say for example i would like to edit the book online page all i would need to do is tap on that page and by the way if you would like to add a new page you are going to tap on add page in the top right here and you'll be able to add a new page so you can see these are the different services that my website offers as you can see right here and to edit any section again all you'll need to do is simply hover over the section so let's say i would like to edit this section all i need to do is tap on it then you'll see the option manage services if it is a case where you would like to change the image the cover image or the text you would tap on quick edit but if you would like to change the services you are going to tap on manage services by tapping on manage services you will be redirected to the main dashboard so service page if you would like to add a new service you could tap right here add a new service and you'll be able to add a new service to your website 
if you would like to change the pricing of the current services remember we had chosen the services that we'd want to offer you can simply tap on edit then from there you can edit the price of your service you can also edit the cover image and so on so you can see right here so we could tap on the pencil to edit the image you could change the name if you want if you wanted to add a tagline you can also do that and by scrolling down you can add the description you can also add the duration the buffer time right there and by scrolling down also you can choose how clients can pay for this service whether it is per session or you would like to offer them a plan or per session or with a plan then you can also set the price so whether it is a fixed price or you want to tap on fixed price and you would like to offer a varied price or custom price you can do that then you would add the price right here then you can also add the location if you have more than one branches and you could add your staff members that cover this feature once everything is there like in you'll tap on save in the top right hand corner and then after we have tapped saved we'll go back to our main page then you'll simply tap on save right here and you can also preview the changes by simply tapping on preview in the top right hand corner so this is how our service page would look live as you can see right here and if everything is to your liking all you'll need to do is tap on publish and your website will now be live hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe